So here we are again, taking our 38-year-old Land Cruiser Jambo on another crazy adventure in South America. We spent the past year slowly making our way south on the Pan American Highway towards Argentina. And currently we're in Peru, heading towards the Andes Mountains through the Canyon del Pato. Before we set out, so many people asked us what our bucket list destinations were for this trip. We usually offered a standard answer like Patagonia or Baja, but what we were really looking for was places like this, a windy, bumpy track threading its way deep into the mountains. This road was one of many in Peru that reminded us why we chose an old classic 4x4 for our trip. Our Land Cruiser Jambo thrives in places like this. Places where the road has been washed away by repeated landslides and the path through the mountains requires driving through dark, narrow, one-lane tunnels. But things don't always go to plan when driving a vehicle this old. So I was flying the drone and Olivia was driving and she stalled it when we stopped to let a vehicle pass and our starter is not working quite right. It's being a little funny right now. Um, so I'm going to have to bump start it in reverse. All right, you ready? There is a beauty to driving an old manual diesel vehicle. A simple bump start and we were back on our way, listening to the sweet purr of our four liter turbo diesel engine. To reach our next destination high in the Peruvian Andes, we ended up driving past our normal stopping time of sunset and well into the night. But honestly, for us, it doesn't get much better than this. Driving our Land Cruiser through a mountain pass, the sunlight slowly fading behind the glacial walls, the amber lights in the 1985 Toyota dashboard set against the glacial blue lagunas, the perfect mellow driving soundtrack as we make our way to camp. Truly, this is why we drive this old rig. Ron, is that your new friend? It's okay, buddy. He's nice. Ronnie, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Oh, good boy. Good. After Roan's brief encounter with the donkeys, we set out on our next adventure. We left Jambo behind for a few hours to hike five miles into the Cordillera Blanca, or the White Range of the Andes, in search of the famous Laguna 69 that sits high in the mountain range just below several glaciers at 15,200 feet.
I was really impressed by that peak. And then we turned around and saw this peak and I was like, whoa. We're being followed. Brown gets it. Red Bull with a view, not bad. We're in the Cordillera Blanca mountain range in Peru, and today we're doing the hike to Laguna 69. And the elevation is pretty high. Right now we're approaching 14,000 feet and we'll finish uh, at about 15,200. And overall, the elevation gain on this hike is about 2,500 feet. So it's a pretty substantial climb over about four miles, but the views are just absolutely mind blowing. Like nothing either of us have ever seen peaks anywhere from 18,000 to 22,000 feet. Like I said, the views on this hike are pretty amazing. It's like, this is my view like the entire time. Yes, folks, that is a little taste of my daily life with Cody. What are you doing? Taking some photos, a cute dingo. Might be the best hike I've done in my entire life. And of course, I couldn't resist a little polar plunge. It's such a stunning location. One life, live it. <laughs> That is the coldest water. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do it again? For sure. Now I get the endorphins, you know? Cold water plunging. Oh, man. Wow. That is cold. Instantaneously freezing. Eating lunch and soaking in the high elevation sunshine, I recall feeling just absolutely in awe of this moment. All the hard decisions we had to make that led us here, they all felt worth it. No. <laughs> no. Cody! Down. Down. I can't believe I should look at my bag. I thought you got stepped on, dude. <laughs> you made me drop my orange. <laughs> And after yet another livestock encounter, we said goodbye to the Laguna and headed back down to Jambo.
The Cordillera Blanca is full of stunning drives. So we set our GPS nav for the next destination and we're off to find another beautiful camp in the Andes. Mist from the typical afternoon showers combined with the elevation made for a gray, moody drive. Jambo, of course, made short work of the unpaved track. Despite the many switchbacks, bridges, and ever-increasing elevation, our land cruiser cruised right on up to our camp near Laguna Perón at just under 14,000 feet. So we drove from sea level to almost 14,000 feet in about two days, which means I'm feeling pretty bad up here. And so I'm drinking some coca tea, which supposedly helps, um, but I just have a pretty massive headache and it felt pretty sick to my stomach. So I still wanna go on a hike and enjoy the time here, but it's hard when you feel so bad. <laughs> So I wasn't feeling great having only been at elevation for a few days, we still went for a brief hike around the Laguna. It was hard to resist the allure of these views, the dark granite peaks juxtaposed by the massive white glaciers, and of course the bright turquoise blue of the Laguna itself. The lovely blue color is caused by the glaciers, which create super small particles of sediment as they slowly grind over rocks. And that sediment eventually ends up suspended in the water. It's places like this that make us grateful we chose a vehicle capable of taking us there. Still not feeling well from the elevation, we spent a few days resting and acclimating to the altitude, and we finally picked the camera back up at our camp about 100 miles south of Laguna Peron. We enjoyed our morning tea and coffee with the flamingos, and eventually turned Jambo back towards the mountains. Road conditions change constantly on Peru's high mountain roads, so Cody is also constantly adjusting our tire pressure for the most optimal driving experience. Fifteen minutes later, and we were on our way again, surrounded by the Cordillera Blanca's most impressive peaks and glaciers. There's just something about driving a classic 4x4 through locations like this. It's hard to put into words, but this is what we live for an isolated road through a beautiful landscape on the South American continent, feeling a sense of freedom as we take in the world through the windshield of our favorite rig. Eventually, we made our way up the mountain passes to watch the sunset over the Pastor Rory Glacier. If I can give you just one tip for traveling to touristy areas, it would be to visit attractions at an odd hour. 
We passed at least 30 people heading down as we hiked up to the glacier, and when we got there, we had it completely to ourselves. Unfortunately, this glacier, like many others, is receding, but it was still spectacular to see it up close. When we packed up our 38-year-old Land Cruiser a year ago, we really had no idea what the future held for us. It's easy to get caught up in checking all the boxes on a pre-planned itinerary. But what we're finding is that for us, the journey has far outweighed the destinations. Yes, we've seen many beautiful places, but when we look back on this trip years from now, things we'll remember most are what happened en route. Bump starting Jambo in the Canyon del Pado, the view of the Cordillera Blanca range through the windshield, a rainy night driving into the Andes. You won't find experiences like these on a travel bucket list, and that's exactly the reason we chose to take a 38-year-old Land Cruiser to the Andes.